In the spring of 1982, the Republic of Argentina and the United Kingdom fought a 74-day war in the South Atlantic over the sovereignty of several island groups, most notably the Falklands. It began 42 years ago today when Argentine forces conducted opposed amphibious landings that resulted ultimately in the fall of the city of Stanley. After that, despite American efforts to negotiate a diplomatic settlement, the conflict devolved into a spectacular air, sea, and land campaign that brought a brief chapter of conventional warfare to the Missile Age. During the recapture of Stanley, the Falklands War became an infantry slogging match that pitted the right arm of the free world against itself. Both sides were armed with Duodon Sev's FAL, Argentina using Belgian-made Model 50 rifles, as well as a domestically produced version of the Model 5061 Select Fire Carbine, and England using the legendary L1A1 SLR. Although these were the primary service rifles used by the opposing sides during the Falklands War, the Argentine Navy used two other 308 battle rifles that are worth mentioning, the FN-49 and the BM-59E. Considering that today is the 42nd anniversary of the start of the conflict, let's mark the occasion by taking a closer look at these two interesting firearms. In July 1953, the Argentine Navy ordered 5,536 FN-49s in 7.65 by 53 millimeter, but later domestically converted them to 7.62 by 51 using a new-made barrel and a proprietary 20-round detachable box magazine, like the example you see here. This was done in Argentina in mid-1967, at the same time that the Navy sent 2,109 M1 rifles to Italy to be converted as well. There, Beretta transformed the Navy's clip-fed semi-automatic 30 caliber M1s to magazine-fed select-fire rifles chambered for 7.62 by 51 millimeter. Although both of these guns traveled with Argentine Navy personnel to the Falkland Islands in 1982, there's really only a photographic record showing the BM-59E there during the campaign. The best images were captured on film at the beginning of May, and they show Argentine naval infantry moving across craters caused by the RAF bombing of the airfield at Stanley in Operation Black Buck. In these photographs, you can see men armed with the FNFAL, as well as others armed with the BM-59E. We just so happen to have examples of both of these lesser-known 308 conversion rifles in the shop right now, as well as an old Springfield Armory SAR 4800 Sporter that's been dressed up to look like an L1A1 SLR, complete with pebble grain furniture and a five-prong flash hider. I know it's really just a clone, but it looks just like the L1A1s that went to the South Atlantic in 1982, and that's good enough for me. These three rifles provide a fitting reminder of the war that started 42 years ago today. And if you'd like to take a closer look at them, they're on the website.